hey everyone welcome back to the channel this is Rahul in today's video we will be solving another lead code problem that is recovery tree from pre-order traversal we will use Java so in this video we will start by understanding the problem statement exploring different approaches that we can use in order to solve this problem then we will discuss why we are choosing this specific approach in order to solve this rather than others then we will implement our solution step by step after that we will analyze its time and space complexity so make sure you watch till the end so let's start before that if you are new here subscribe my channel for more dsa coding videos i used to post here and like the video if you like like the content and comment if you have any feedback or any suggestion let's start so here is our problem here we have a pre-order traversal of a binary tree in a special format first of all the root node appears first okay then each node is represented by d dashes followed by its value where d is the depth of the node a child node at depth d plus 1 follows its parent node at depth d if a node has only one child it's guaranteed to be the left child so if you see this example you will get to know after one dash dash means i will just mention like hyphen they will give two hyphens like this means left child and right child in that format they are given so after um, completing the code i will just show you how we can how uh, it's changing okay so in order to solve this problem we have two approaches which are efficient one is stack based approach in that we use a stack to maintain nodes at different levels then we traverse the string while keeping track node of track of node depth and at last we will efficiently build the tree as we process the traversal string second one is the dfs approach that's the recursive approach means dfs traversal so here first of all we recursively parse the string means extracting numbers and their depth then we construct the tree by ensuring correct parent child relation at last this mimics how a pre-order traversal naturally builds a tree now because of two reasons we are choosing recursion over stack first is intuitive here mimics natural pre-order traversal is happening in recursion and second one is lex auxiliary space it avoids using an extra stack for maintaining st tree structure now here you can see the binary tree order structure here nothing to do we can start from our coding uh, class part here we have our method solution and our class uh, here first of all we have to initialize two variables not two three first one in order to store the input traversal string another one index to track position and another one to keep track of depth so one private string is private in index level okay so once this is done we have to get into our method recover from pre-order it have one input traversal string we use the this keyword this dot 
as is equal to traversal and initializing index and level to zero level is equal to zero once this done we have to create one temporary route in order to help uh, build the tree so tree node we will name this node which is equal to new tree node we will give a dummy value of minus one then we have to use one helper function which will start recursive recursion this dot helper we will use this name only no zero then nothing much we have to return the actual root that is the left child of the main node so return node dot left so once this done come out of the method because here uh, why we use a temporary root node means in your it is to simplify tree construction and to avoid its cases where the root is null now we can start our helper function private sorry private void helper and we will you um, take two, two inputs that is one parent and uh, another one level you know parent int level here this loop ensures that the recursion only proceeds when we are at the correct depth for that we have to give one condition while this dot index less than this dot as dot length and the level should be equal to level now we have to extract the node value for that we have to initialize one variable we will name it as num with the value 0 so while the stored index less than the stored s dot length and character is digit cat index so here we extract the number by iterating through the digits now we have to update our num value to num stop sorry start run close the start the start Carrot the stored index increment it so. 
and after this we have to create a new tree node um, with the extracted number so come out of the loop then tree node node is equal to new tree node num so once this done we have to attach the child nodes first of all we have to assign node as left child if it's empty otherwise assign it as right child if parent dot left is null not else parent dot right is equal to no so here why we are checking this one means parent dot left is equal to null here because if a not has only one child it always the left child now we have to determine next nodes depth for that we have to initialize the level to 0 after that we have to count number of dashes to determine next nodes depth so that we will use the while loop while this dot index is the this dot this dot length and this dot carrot index is equal to alpha then we have to increment our level and uh, index index means if uh, this happening this uh, hyphen mark coming this means dash okay coming we have to change the level and uh, uh, as you know here when it comes to it will go down of this like that we have to assign this count this hyphen count determines the next dot next depth once this done we have to um, call the helper method means recursively we have to call for child nodes the dot helper node level plus one here why i used level plus one means in order to ensure correct depth assignment as we are occurs okay uh, here we make missed on amazon symbol now run it yeah it's working fine so uh that's it um let's check the way 
you can write the code write the example i don't know how to use this one even though i let's try this one now one two three four five six seven okay it won't happen that way hmm. we can go manually that's better first of all our root node that is as per the example the first one given is root then second level that is 2 then we have two dashes that is 3 so third level then fourth also third level so here the first one will become the left one and the second one become the right one here you can see it is like second level only because of one dash then again its child like that it given one two three four same like here five six seven uh, okay. one two the question is in this way one two three one two three four okay so this is our left part so we have two then we have three because of the it comes first so it left child then right child then again we have right part that is hyphen 5 double dash 6 same 7 so it become 5 6 7 so yeah. so this is the way It will reflect so in this way we are getting the output so in this video we covered problem explanation and representation different approaches and why we chose this rec recursion model and step-by-step -step coding with detailed explanation then time and space complexity analysis if you found this helpful don't forget to like this video subscribe for more dsa solutions and comment below if you have any doubts or any feedback see you in next one till that happy coding don't forget to submit yeah yeah it's working fine okay then bye